Hi, today we're going to do one low-tech penetration test of Benjamin Marauder pistol in caliber 22. It's probably the least glamorous test that you can do. Absolutely low-tech, you know. Nothing fancy about this, no chronometers whatsoever. We're going to have a Marauder Benjamin pistol in 22. We, as much as I can see here, we pumped it up to something like 2800 psi and we're gonna use four cans very basic test that anyone can do in their backyard nothing glamorous nothing tech high tech just regular bean cans and whole beads cans you know those are not the soda cans that are soft and thin this is a pretty heavy uh, thin material so uh, we'll try it uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put them over there on that stone and uh, we'll hit them from uh, 10 yards and we'll see what the penetration uh, will be I have to say that I'm using Crossman Premier 14.3 grains hollow point pellets which are probably absolutely the worst that you can do, use I mean hollow point on penetration test but what can you do this is those are the one that I have right now so we'll we'll do the test with that one Okay, let's do this. Maybe one more. I think that will be enough. Three of them will be quite enough. I also covered them with this uh, concrete block because I want them stable. I don't want them to just flip around after the uh, pellet hits the first can. This way they are stabilized and we'll have, uh, I think, better results. We'll be able uh, how many of the cans the pellet will actually penetrate. And let's see now what is the result of penetration test. We're gonna remove this thing, it's pretty heavy, and let's check it out. Okay, we have three rounds here. And let's see. This one is a front. Ooh, they're kinda <clears throat> merged together. So it went all the way through the first one, and we can see the hole at the beginning. Uh, at the front of the can, it's normal width. But here on the back, it's literally blown out. So it's kind of hollow points are doing their job, if I may say that way. And then let's see the second can. Second can, the holes at the front of the can are really huge. Much bigger than they were on the uh, first can. And then we still have the exit holes that are even bigger. And then let's see the third can. Third can, okay, we have one pellet here, that means that that one hit the can, but it didn't go through. And then we have some holes here, two of them, so that means that, the, yeah, and you, if you can see here, there is a bump right there, that means that pellets actually hit the back wall of the third can, but they didn't go through it. So they basically went through um, one, two, three, four, five layers of this very thick and heavy uh, thin can and then they actually been stopped at the sixth layer of the thin but if you ask me that's a pretty good penetration test because if you hit the squirrel or if you hit the rabbit I doubt that any part of their bodies will be as hard as these three cans so if you ask me is it a Marauder pistol in 22 caliber kind of good small uh, game hunting pistol I would tell you without no doubts it is. It's, it's, a, it's a great hunting pistol and the penetration test that we just showed with those three cans actually fantastic. And actually, oh, while I'm still filming, let's see how the pellet looks like. 
I'm not quite sure that I'll be able to film that properly with my phone, but let's see. This hollow point, it's still in a pretty good shape. Not of course like when you hit the wall, then you really, then you really splash it into the pancake, but this one is kind of still okay. So, five layers of this big tin, heavy cans, empty of course, but still the steel on those ones are pretty heavy, thick and sturdy. So going through the five walls of the uh, can, that's pretty excellent result, I would say. And I love that. I'm continuing enjoying shooting the Marauder pistol and performing another test as well.